Hello, 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 everybody! It is Fiery Red Hero 8, and we're gonna finally get back to Ocarina of Time! And supplies! Hi! <laughs> Who would've guessed it, right? Um, Gilshanks and I have <laughs> got this, um, and I cut him off. Um, we're, we have this little tradition now where when one of us does Zelda, we're just gonna be on each of those finales. So I thought, hey, why not? That's pretty badass. I don't know what you're talking about. I am Chaos Simple Rose. Let's do this. Okay, we ready? One, two, three, go. Go! Oh, click on the damn link! Ah! I'm trying to link myself here. I have been waiting for oh. you, Link. I'm Zelda, bitch. That's oh, sorry. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was the other guy. Oh shit! I just spoiled it too. Oh, nice job. <laughs> you want to start this over? No, let's go with it. Okay. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge. A showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Hey, listen! Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the shadow folk, the Sheikahs. <laughs> Sorry for spoilers, people, but it's a pretty. I thought it was a pretty funny intro. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. We shall. Are you ready for story time? Yay! Yeah, story time! Story time! Story time! <laughs> the resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what- Whatever. The heart of one who enters it is an evil heart. The realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. That is true. The Triforce, the sacred triangle. It is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. I speed up and then the text slows down. Screw you. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. It's pretty awesome. It's so cool! But if that one's heart is not the balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. That's pretty much most people. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Okay. I'm hoping that the sound isn't picking up on the computer. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by Destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Yeah, I just had to turn that down because I don't want my mic to pick that up. It's so damn sensitive. Seven <laughs> years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves. I thought the King of Thieves was in Aladdin. Use the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. I heard a facepalm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power came enabled to him, enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. He's a hungry man. Um, yum, yum, yum. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. The what? How surprising. And the other, who holds the Triforce of Wisdom, is the seventh sage who was destined to be the leader of them all. Ho that's, that's an epic shot, I love that. I gotta say though, for a Zelda game to actually pull out a twist like this, it's pretty cool. I mean, they kind of did rehashing in Wind Waker. But nevertheless, when they first did it in this game, I don't think any of us really saw it coming. No, we didn't, because it was back in the day. Plot twists weren't, I don't think, as big until this game when it comes to Zelda history games. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. Yeah, who I was mistaken for in my melon, mal melon, my melon costume. You're, you're, I was mistaken for my melon costume. <laughs> That's okay, though. It was still, it was a great place to be. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. I still think that at PAX we should cosplay as a strawberry and a banana. Uh, no. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. Why do you want to be a strawberry and a banana? Because that'd be so cool! I mean, that's something you never see people cosplay as at these conventions. 
I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. I like how they do the black and white here, and just like, you see it from another angle, that's pretty cool. That is so awesome. Well, I thought it was. No I, no, I actually wasn't being sarcastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't really been serious this entire episode so far. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. It's a lot of cutscene heavy for this first episode, I will say. The Legend of Zelda Metal Gear Solid. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Gandorf could never enter the sacred realm, but something I could never expect happened. You gotta plan ahead, girl. After you open the door of time, the Master Sword seals you away in the Sacred Realm. Well, I don't think I could have seen that coming either. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah. Oh god, it was awful. And hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. I think you're doing a little bit of ad-libbing there. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this, from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses. The power given to the Chosen Ones. The Sacred Arrow of Light. Take it respectfully, good sir. <laughs> and then Zelda's casting a spirit bomb. Okay, I don't even know what that is, but alright. I know you know, but they'll know what it is. It's Ali. I don't know. That's okay. Yeah, we had actually practiced this on New, Year, New Year's Eve, but it was past midnight by the time we finished it, and we were really tired. We we're like, yeah, we can't record this before Magfest, which was the original plan. We have the light arrows. And, uh-oh. Uh, something's going on with that camera angle. That rumbling, it can't be. It is. Oh, shit. Well, at least the crystal's pretty. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor! I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. <gasps> but you let your guard down, Biatch. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. No! No! Ah! I'm not actually doing anything to you, but okay. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, the volume shall be adjusted. Then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Get your work cut out for you, Link. And that badass red tunic. Yeah. Alrighty then, so at long last, we can start the game nine minutes in. I know, right? But I'm actually going to be doing some cutting anyways, because we have one more gold skull to let it get! Yay! Yay! Oh god, fun stuff, yeah. fun stuff. I know, I'm not actually going to make you guys watch me get there, but more or less we're going to go to the Zora's Domain, because there's one area that we can now access with said Silver Gauntlet. I don't, this is the worst Gold Skulltula, because they make you go all the way out here after basically being right next to the final area. It's such bullshit. It is indeed ass titties. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see you right when I get to the spot I need to be. See you guys in just a sec. All right, we are back. In, no, we're not. We are in, not in um, Zora's Domain. Well, we're out in Lord Jabu Jabu's area because now that we have the Silver Gauntlets, there is an area over to the right that we can go and take care of. Yay! Again, biggest pain in the ass 
gold skull to love it. Let's not talk about that pain in the ass. What should we talk about, Gilshanks? I don't know. <laughs> I usually talk about what I'm doing, so yeah. I have no idea. Well, for those of you that are new, um, let me just point out that this isn't the first Zelda finale that Gilshanks and I have done. Actually, the first one was almost a year ago, um, which was my Twilight Princess, and Link gets down the fucking hole. <laughs> Down! Whee! It's, it's the one the one thing that Link and Mario have in common is that uh, they never know how to go down. to just go down the hole. <laughs> they never know how to go down. Oh, stop laughing over there! <laughs> this is actually our third one. Um, the other one we did was um, Gilshanks' Majora's Mask, which is obviously uh. on his channel. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. You definitely want that to get these dick wads because they will. You just go up the one side here and take care of it. I want to get up here by morning. And Navi, shut the fuck up. But, like, I want to tell you something! Well, I'm not in the mood for it. You already, you've already got... You've already been able to sit on my hat and follow me home from MAGFest, so... That's do all they the... Even under Wait, they, do they even understand what you mean by that? No, but you can explain. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's not really much to explain, but the, she bought a red Link hat, but she also bought this little pearler bead Navi, and she clipped it to the hat. To sort of make it look like Navi was just sitting on the hat, so it actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. It's it's a hair clip, but I used it for the hat instead. And that is the last Gold Skulltula. Now, woo! And she still doesn't pronounce the word correctly, but that's okay. Skulltula. Skulltula. Shut up. It's it's supposed to be skull and tarantula. Oh my God! Shut up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, should I even? Sh I mean, uh, should I just explain what it is the reward, or should I go and show them? Because honestly, uh, the reward isn't even really worth it in my opinion. Uh, might as well just go and show them. We're, we're, we're cutting though, right? Yeah, we're. You know what? We're just gonna cut, and then I'm gonna show you the reward, and then that's probably gonna be an episode because it's been a lot of cutscenes. It's already 15 minutes, so yeah, not very action-packed, but you know, whatever. And we're back, and we're going to take the Skulltulas that Miss Fiery can pronounce correctly, but we're going to take them and get our crappy reward. Yeah, I mean, guys, this reward is hardly even worth it, but I want to show it because it is part of the LP. We have all 100 Skulltulas. Look at this shit. If I can get it. Skulltula. 100. Shut up. 100 Skulltulas. Skulltula. And this is what we get for it. Since you destroyed a hundred- WE GET A BALD GUY! The hundred spiders from the curse. The curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just so happy. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. You get a gold rupee. Or a huge rupee. 200 rupees. You can get this infinite amount of times. But at this point in the game, it's worthless. I mean, That's unless you absolutely need to keep restocking on supplies, it is hardly worth it. But that's pretty much it. So, in the next episode, we're going to finally take on Ganon's castle. See you guys next time. Peace out.